This week on Team Baborn, we just really need to get this thing finished. Quantum Dude is ready to make the planks for us once we get the logs. <gasps> and now we've got no logs again. Hooray! <laughs> the bad tides are coming. Here we are back in Team Baborners. See, I'm going to make that T pun fit if it's the last thing I do. It actually sounds like I'm saying team instead of T. It makes you think of like a group of beaver superheroes. Anyway, let's dive into the next episode. We have a lot planned for today. I want to be able to block off this water down here in preparation for a bad tide to come in. I don't want that water turning into this water. Look at that. Look at that nasty, horrible water. Just like a mud bath, doesn't it? It wouldn't want to go in there. So we are going to have to ramp up the science and unlock some stuff because I want to get the levees. I want to get the floodgates, which means we also need more plank, more wood and all that sort of stuff. So science wise, 120, 150, we're not actually that far off of that. Anyway, we probably need to ramp up our wood production. We've got these trees down here. Maybe we could just pop in some stairs. There we go. Pick a picker some of that and connect that up. And hopefully that will be available for somebody in one of these. If we unpause that, you've got a long reach, haven't you? All the way down there. Oh, it's actually too high. Darn it. Okay, well, <laughs> we'll destroy that. I guess I need to put in one of these platforms, which are another hundred. <sighs> okay, we're going to be doing all the science anyway. Let's pop that in there. And let's pop that there and that there. And you can work on that. And that is not like light. What? What is my problem? There we go. We're all lined up. Who's that? We've got John Robinson. Excellent. Grabbing all of this wood for us. Fantastic. Fantastic. So let's also ramp up our science. We have one job vacancy. We have no spare beds. So that really is the thing that we need to do so we can get more beavers moving in. I've got this little space over here. I'm going to grab this, turn that around like so. But then if I put these back to back, Maybe I'll go one and two like that. We'll bring that down and then we'll leave that little space there for something else in the future. In fact, that'll be perfect for a, another little science thing. We'll pop that in and pop a path there. And maybe just a little bit of storage around in this place. Up to 212. So why don't we unlock the levee, which is 120. Yes, please. And then we'll hang fire on this one for 150, the floodgates, when we get there. Oh, and no sooner said than done. 2.9 days before a drought is incoming. How is our water going? I could probably do, I think, with unpausing that, getting Mark in there to work along with Louise to fill up all of our water. Uh, we are making of the planks. We've got 17 planks left, which is great. And then can we also up that as well, get Jamie Hartman working in there. A couple of places would then not have workers, but I think the rest of it's okay at the moment. I want to just concentrate on getting as much water in as possible. Oh, very nice. We have 171 science, so we can now unlock the floodgate. And then we can sort of mark out what I want to do here. So my plan is to block this off. So when this turns into the bad water that runs down here, then instead of running this way, it runs over the top and goes that way and doesn't sort of run back into here. We'll do some sort of floodgates there as well. If we went like that, then we've got these double ones that can go there. How high is that? Do I need to be one higher than that or is that high enough? Yeah, I think it needs to be even higher. It needs to be like this. So then it would run through that gap there. And if we blocked that off, Oh, suddenly we need to like block off all of this as well. <laughs> I'm just going to run back round again. Hang on a minute. Hang on a minute. Six and a half hours later. Yes, I think. Okay, drought, drought's approaching. I oh, know. I think that needs to be one higher like that. So we can block the water off and then we'll change those when we get there. Yeah, we'll leave that for now. Man, this is like suddenly a huge flipping project. Okay, that is going to be a heck of a lot of woods. And do these take planks? Just logs. It's these that take planks. So we need 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30 when we get those in. 30 planks, we've got 32. It's just logs after that. All right, okay. Well, that's good. So maybe uh, once we've got all this water in and the flood actually starts, we could try and get... Oh, you're getting the logs. Fantastic. We could try and get a load of trees planted and get a forest. Oh, we've got the forest over here, haven't we? Is there any way we could plant trees on there? I don't think there is, is there? Oh, we do have the space here because we've been planting these oaks over here. So if we just sort of finish 
all of this get all the oaks in yes of course there we go we were clearing this out last episode oh drought has started so i'm gonna pause one of our water pumps we do have a heck of a lot of water we have some new beavers that have grown up we have odin 996 who's working hard at a forestry job over here thank you odin we also got peter captain kirk aged four quantum dude who's just standing and staring into space yeah go on go on have a little run around Roy Tekanir S, who's also stretching his legs. And also Shane Turner, who's just enjoying a campfire. Excellent. Thank you for all of your support on Patreon. That is how we're naming our beavers in Kettleborn this season. Right, so uh, drought is upon us. We're okay on water. Nearly 200 water, plenty of food. So I think we're going to be okay. So really it is just getting this wood growing. I'm wondering whether we should just cut those down because we're really not into uh, getting the maple syrup pine syrup whatever it's called sap sap is the word we're not into getting all that yet and we just so need the logs so how long do these take to grow 12 days do you know what we're going to cut the ones that we've got why not uh this is being built up they've started already how are they going to get up to here so we've got a path down there we could just wang in some steps like that that will give us access to everything which would just be great i don't know whether they can reach these ones up here it says they can which is amazing these ones that one they, there they can't i'm thinking if we go like that go like that and that and then go like this will they be able to reach up to it too far from the district cannot be reached by builders but that, but that one's okay <laughs> what? What? what 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 all right well we'll see how far they get and then we'll maybe adjust the paths if we need to look at them look at them swimming away oh just notice we've got beavers not doing anything so maybe we could unpause the lumberjack which is actually what we need to cut all the trees we'll get mark pimenta working on that and then over here we've got our gatherer yeah we're going to unpause that and get boy taken here thank you very much doing that for us and I believe we've still got space for those. So yeah, that'll be fine. What about a bit of decoration? I wanted to put in a rooftop terrace. That only takes logs. I mean, we're short on logs, but I just think this thing looks fantastic. If we could squeeze that in like over here at the end, that would just give somewhere else for our beavers to recline and relax. Uh, we could pop that in front. We could pop a staircase there. We could grab that and go there and there. And they can come and enjoy that. The drought is over. We're in cycle four. Um, I don't honestly know when the bad tides are going to hit us. I'm really hoping we're going to get this sorted. I mean, worst comes to the worst. We managed to survive that sort of small one. Oh, there we go. Water's going through. Excellent. Pushing away all the bad tide water, the bad water. Yeah, worst case scenario, we'll have enough of our own water stored here and we'll be okay. What are we up to? 309 science. Fantastic. Is there anything else that I think would be useful to us? I mean, we've got these nice big double lodges, which I think would be good. Um, they're just built from logs. Mm, I just think we really need to just concentrate on getting all the wood in. Yeah, anything else like the tapper shack is going to be needing gears. And I don't want to be turning my planks into gears. Or do I? I think maybe we do. Let's get a gear workshop unlocked. That, yes, please. That can be something that will be very handy. I, d I didn't really want all of this here. Yeah, I wanted this over here, really away from all the fertile land. So I, I might just pop that there for now. How much power does this take? 120 HP. Yeah, I think once we've got all this set up, we're then going to start using water wheels. But for now, we'll have to use Wheel of Fortune to get these things going. If we go around that way and pop it up against the building, and then anything we put next to it should also get power from that maybe question mark so we're going to increase our workers over here we've got why not aaron bulldock leanne soff and mark as well so that is keeping everybody busy which is what we need and we've also had growing up we've got shane turner why not and a load of new kitty winkies as well i'm sure they're going to be super busy soon with all the work that we've got here and i've just realized we're going to be blocking this water off if we're not careful um yeah maybe let's not do that yeah, we'll go with that. Just keep it flowing. It'll build up a little bit, flow over the top. That'll be good. And then we can build up the other ones. Fantastic. So I'd like to try and get some different crops in here. We can see if we increase the nutrition, each additional one adds 
some points over here to the well-being we're up to six and all of that really helps them build faster run faster and live longer so aaron here is up to seven which is great potatoes could be good we've got to grill them so we can't eat them straight out the ground um rooftop terrace will be going in at some point soon so i'm just wondering whether we could redo some of this farm over here and get some potatoes in here as well i think that's what we're going to do i'm going to remove all these bushes and then i'm going to pop in a pot uh, potato there we go i've got to be careful i don't go over the top of the ones that are already there bit of a, a mix mix and a mishmash but that's fine there we go add some of those into the diet i feel like i actually want to Billion, the and then we're going to grab another farmhouse over here and that will take in all of this area as well which will be very handy and we have some spare beavers which could be beavering away for us um, let's have a look there's no wood to collect up here is there no so those lumberjacks can go and then we'll add in a gatherer flag oh you're just sat around or have we like completely filled up our store we've completely filled up our storage so they are never going to get any more out of the ground so why don't we just add a little something something on the top here and we'll do that there might have been a better way to do that but that's what we've got and we'll have berries in there excellent well we're getting more and more beavers available that want jobs and i think there's something that will help us in here we have a hauling post which is going to take 10 planks which is fine and we can have additional people people beavers sorry hauling around the stuff to get things to run a little bit quicker so we're going to put that on full and then the haulers are going to help bring the stuff over here to keep building this up which is getting there and if i place the gatherer flag the right way around it would probably actually work there we go all right so we've got tim steve and Amut working in here i'm going to drop that down to one and you're going to be in charge of planting and then we're going to keep this one over here with two howard and namir who are going to be in charge of harvesting and then hopefully that's popped a couple yeah there we go a couple of haulers in there tim and steve oh the rooftop terrace is done new grass has come to check it out and um, you're sort of staring at a wall where all the nastiness is and the bad water is but yeah don't worry about that corruption it's fine enjoy looking at that little candle and the very comfortable logs ah uh, yeah there we go suddenly found out that they can't reach these ones up here so we are gonna have to put in some sort of platforms which we will get the wood back or it eventually so if we sort of do that will that be enough to reach all the things when they're done i prioritize the things to get it finished uh i guess we'll find out oh we've got our first one above the water in that is looking good that is looking good what i'm worried about is that we're going to end up blocking the water and it might take a while to fill up up to here and then we can open these up and for some reason it can they can reach those i've no idea why some can be reached and not others it's very weird very weird you carry on don't be thirsty we've got more water than you can shake the stick at and no sooner as i said that we've got 2.9 days to the next drought so i think both of these are pumping away yeah how many beavers have we got 23 we've got space for one more and we've got one beaver without a job um i closed these down because there was no planting or cutting to do oh we could put some more potatoes in there couldn't we lovely and then i feel like we need to plant in an oak there to complete that section yeah you'll do that when i turn that back on again and then what can we do with our spare beaver ah over here look there we go unpause no i clicked on the wrong thing click that there we go no turned off turned on brilliant have we filled up our storage for berries <laughs> yes we have because this hasn't been finished well that means we'd have to high prioritize that to get it to be done uh we need 15 logs we have 12 logs so again we've got the problem with not enough logs 71 percent i mean it's going to be a couple of days and suddenly all of this is going to be done i feel like we need to plant more trees and we're just not planting enough do i need to just fill all of this with trees as well let's go for this and get all of those planted in and then we'll go for another one of these over here get that prioritized that needs logs and planks yeah and then get the job for that prioritized and get these planted i just think we need to do that just to keep our log supply going <laughs> otherwise we can't just build anything can we we're just struggling to build yeah that needs to go up that needs to go up and then we need a path on the top of there and that's already marked as berries good the drought has started we have absolutely no wood could we just come over here and like just grab all of that 
Or could we... I mean, we can't even build stairs up because we haven't got what we need. So I think, actually, this is probably the only place to be. What's the best place? I think we'll just pop it there and we'll make that priority, priority. Get somebody working in there. Get that done. Oh, and, of course, if I mark all these for cutting, that would be even better. Oh, thank you very much, Mehmet and Jay, making the planks for us. We need, like, one extra plank or something to get these stairs in down here. No, we need one log. The planks are fine. Well, we need more planks, don't we, for when we get over here and we're starting to pop all of these in. But at the moment, I'm just wondering whether we could just let you out of the Wheel of Fortune, let you go off and do something else, and, yeah, help the colony that way. What could you be doing instead? Let's have a look around. Over here. There we go. Look. We'll unpause that. Get you to gather all of this lovely food in. Which is... We can't get in because the story just fell up because we're waiting for the logs. We'll, we'll get there. We'll get there. Yes, it's done. Excellent. Now we have berry storage and they're going nuts for the berry. Wow. This is going to be filled up in like seconds. There's so many berries coming in. Good grief. Oh, Mehmet, doing a fantastic job over here planting in our pine trees. Thank you very much for that. And then we've got a lumberjack flag over here ready to go when we need it. I thought I saw John sat on his backside. He's not. He's still gathering, although I believe our berry storage is once again full. Is there something else we can do with the berries? So we can gather them. We've got the farmhouse. We've got the aquatic farmhouse. We've got the grill. Can we grill the berries? We can't grill the berries. The grist mill, the bakery, and then we've got a beehive. So really, the berries is the most basic, cannot be turned into anything else type of food. Uh, the drought's going okay. Uh, water's doing all right. We're all full up on water. Excellent. Oh, no. Howard Marshall died of old age. Howard, you will be missed. Oh, we made it through. Cycle number five. Food is going well. We've got a load of carrots. We've got a load of carrots. We've got a load of potatoes already, which are grown, which is good. And we need to do something with those. We need to grill those. Does that take power? No, it takes potatoes and logs. We just don't have any logs. I'm going to put a grill in and then I'm just not going to use it. Let's pop it there. And then we're going to pop in a small storage there for the grilled potatoes, which is, looks like that one there, hot potato, grilled potatoes. Nice. So we'll leave that to be built and then we're going to just immediately pause it after it's done. I don't know whether I can do that before or after. We shall see. And I just want to get this done over here. It's getting bigger. We've blocked the water here, which is good. A lot of these are getting finished. Um, I've marked these as high priority, but that one's saying it's too far from the district. This one's waiting for planks. Oh, that's what my problem is. Okay, we're going to maximize this. New grass, get in there. Quantum Dude is ready to make the planks for us once we get the logs. <gasps> Oh no, Jamie Hartman's popped their clogs as well. Good grief. We just need to expand and get more beavers in because they're going to keep dying. And if we don't get the young ones still coming up behind them, then our colony could be... Uh, that could be it. So we've got to just keep people going. Why are you hungry? We've got so much food and water. I don't know what to do with. We haven't got so much water. We need to get the pumping going as well. Man, we need more beavers. Oh, finally, the oak trees are growing in. 99%. These are going to, like, appear right before our eyes. Watch this. Watch. Here they come. Oh, he's gnawing that tree down. They're coming up. They are working like the troopers they are. We are getting the wood in, finally. And then with a couple of days, well, maybe not that one. Within a couple of days, these will all be done as well. I might just turn off the gatherers because they're all just sitting around doing nothing. So go and do something else. No, got to click on there. Pause, got to click on there. Pause, go and work, carry things, haul. Oh, water is getting low. Okay, we'll add some more. And we need to get, we need to get some more uh, houses in here. I don't want to put steps in because they take planks and that is just costing us a fortune in planks which i don't want to do so if we can pop in what am, I, what am i looking for housing a couple of houses and they're only taking logs and we've got logs that'll be good oh look at this a blockage i'll oh, demolish the blockage maybe we can get our water around the back here oh <gasps> i wonder if that's then gonna allow us to plant a load of stuff here mark thank you mark i know you're hungry and you're thirsty but we've got food and water so that's your own <laughs> it's only you, your fault and then is this water it, the water's gonna flow and then what's gonna happen oh my my goodness the land 
the land. And you know what all of this is going to have planted on it? That is going to be oak trees. Well, not up to there, I don't think. But oak trees, as far as the eye can see, every conceivable spot that isn't contaminated by the nastiness is going to have an oak tree on it. Nice. Oh, the grill is in. So we've got the choice. Grill potatoes. We don't have chestnuts. We don't have spadadoc. I think that is something you grow in the water. We're going to go for that. And then will you store potatoes? Yeah, 50 out of 50. You've got potatoes already. So they basically just need to be carried over here. And Kuroji should start cooking those up. Half an hour. Oh, the grilled potatoes are going. Now that we've got somewhere to store them. So you can store 120. Suddenly, we're going to be making a lot out of our food. Look, I think this is where our grilled potatoes are going to be like left in the open in here. And now we've got no logs again. Hooray! We've got logs over here. We need more well, logs in the ground. So they're obviously known as trees. Um, we need another lumberjack flag over here. If I pop one in there, like so, does that cover not all of that, but it will cover all of this as well. And we're going to up to sort of medium priority. We just need more beavers. We need more beavers. We've got 1.3k science. Paused. Go into here, please. Mehmet, you're, you're just working everywhere. It's, who's in here? Me, Thomas, and Mad Hatter. They're mad lads. They're just getting so much of the science in that we're not using yet. That is just great. Oh, we're starting to get a bit of seepage over here. Look, <laughs> as we're building this bit up. So I definitely want to get these things in. I'm going to put those on high priority. I know they can't reach them. Don't worry. I'd like to build across there. I'm trying to think whether going through here might be easier. Wh whichever way we go, it's going to be steps, which is a little bit annoying. I mean, we could just go stairs, stairs, stairs. We could just go stairs, stairs, stairs. Stairs up like that. That means I'll be able to reach that. And then they'll probably be able to run over and do that one if we pop in one of those. I think that'll work okay. And then we'll go like this. Stairs, 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 stairs. Oh, we've got the thing in up here. Look, how the heck do they reach that from there? So we're going to put that down to zero. Just let as much water through as possible. Oh, my beavers are happier than ever. We're up to a nine. I'd like to get to 15 to unlock the iron teeth. We'll get there one day. Oh, I've done this one, which is over there. Excellent. We're going to put that at... If I put that all the way up, and then this one's going to be built any second and we can put that all the way up as well so that means we don't need this this can be deleted all drought approaching how is the water situation we're not completely filled up with water we've got 22 beavers and six babies i'm slightly concerned that we could probably do with a few more water containers so yeah hopefully that'll be a jim rob oh john robinson has died of old age no oh we have adam hosek who's working away over here chopping down all of these pine trees great job adam and abc 127 who's been gathering like a trooper dropping off the potatoes for us oh the next drought has started 3.9 days long uh hopefully that's going to be enough water i guess we will find out oh there it goes oh so already saving a bit of water down there and if we could oh that's saving it there as well which is good yeah i think i think we're doing okay so once this is totally filled to the top we'll have a whole ton of extra water stored in here as well as well as the ability to bypass this area altogether when the bad tides come uh, just a little update we've gone through the drought we've come out the other end we're fine we've got so much food we've got logs for days we've got water for days things are going well i'm just like <laughs> working on this i feel like i'm making this more complicated than it needs to be i've got like scaffolding and things everywhere i'm just maximum prioritizing it all so i can get around and reach these blocks at the top i thought that if you built this up that they would deliberately come and build like a level at a time and work the way up whether that's what they're supposed to do i don't know let's just speed this thing up all right we're getting there we're nearly done i'm actually thinking we've got these single floodgates here i think i'm gonna go for the triple floodgate it's only gonna cost 500 science to unlock and I think that's really going to make much more use of the space here. But having a quick chat with Real Civil Engineer, he's helping me out. 
So I'm going to replace these, get some planks back. And I was wondering when this was going to happen. <laughs> We've got a bad tide approaching. So that actually means that all of this is going to turn into bad water. I think I was in some sort of alternative dimension in the last episode and we saw something like that happening. But we just really need to get this thing finished. So what I'm thinking of doing is making sure... We've got all our haulers in. We've got all our builders in. Can we pull some other people from doing jobs? Let's have a look around. Yeah, to be honest, we've got so much food. I'm going to put that down to one and on normal. I'm going to put this down to normal and on one. I'm going to make sure that's filled up. And how many people have we got? Thank you, Tim. Thank you, everybody. There we go. And I'm going to just go with that because we've got 1.1k of food. And I need to get this done. Oh, we're so close. Here we go. We're done. we finished. We've <laughs> built our first mega dam. Oh, my goodness me. Second episode in. And we should be. Let me just test this. If I block that off. Is it going to stop all the water flowing? I think that's a visual glitch. I'm really hoping that's a visual glitch. Yeah, this is all levies. That must be just a visual glitch. So we're going to go with that. Oh, my goodness me. We've got 1.2 days left until it arrives. Let's just get this open, get it flooding through. Just having a sudden mad panic. 0.1 day to go. I need these in because we've got no way of stopping this from back flowing round if this water isn't flowing. Although it's going to flow over then the top. Oh, we might actually be okay. I've got these on high priority. It's night time. The <laughs> bad tides are coming. Is this thing going to work? Here it is. The bad tide has started. Is my plan going to save our colony? I'm going to stop it there. You're going to have to come back for the next episode next Saturday. Be sure to subscribe to it, Missy. <laughs> oh my goodness, what's going to happen?